Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today we're not tasting a whiskey, we're tasting a whiskey liqueur. Well, it's the Drambuy whiskey liqueur in a one liter bottle, 40% ABV, that's quite high for a whiskey liqueur and priced well in the mid 20s up to 30s, wherever you live. The Drambuy is a liqueur means that this is not a whiskey in terms of legal uh, requirements because it has uh, it contains substances which are not allowed in a whiskey. So this is typically some sweetness and some herbs. Well, and there are uh, cream liqueurs as well, but this is a kind of uh, uh, herb sweet whiskey liqueur means that you have a decent amount of whiskey grain whiskey malt whiskey uh, and that's mixed up with gray uh, with uh, herbs uh, and sugary uh, substances and this whiskey is made by William Grant and Sons and those are is the company this is the company behind the Glenfiddich Balwini Kininvi uh, whiskies. So you may suggest that uh, in this Trambouy whiskey liqueur you will find whiskey from Kinnanwy, Balwini and Glenfiddich. Well, most of Kinnanwy, more of Glenfiddich and the least of Balwini because they are very short. <clears throat> yeah, there is a history uh, <laughs> behind uh, Drambuy uh, that this was a hidden secret when Bonnie Prince Charlie uh, uh, fled from Scotland uh, and this receipt was left behind and it was uh, brought over by centuries. Well, yes, probably uh, no idea. Uh, there is some history in this Drambuy. Of course, the Drambuy is quite an old whiskey liqueur and uh, well, have a try on this. Uh, there are different bottles on the market, 0.7 liter, uh, 1 liter, uh, and from time to time, quite rare, uh, is a 15-year-old uh, Drambuy. And uh, yeah, it's called officially the Isle of Skye liqueur because Bonnie Prince Charlie fled over the Isle of Skye from Scotland. Yeah, aged Scotch whiskey, heather honey, herbs and spices. Produced and bottled in mainland Scotland, so not on the Isle of Skye since 1745. This must be around the time when Bonnie Prince Charlie uh, fled uh, from Scotland uh, because uh, the Scottish uh, crown was fusioned more or less uh, with the British crown or the English crown to a British crown. And then there was for this Jacobitan or how were they called? Uh, no, no longer uh, a safe place in Scotland. Smells like <clears throat> there's whiskey behind, there's sweetness just in front, and first spiciness. Yeah, I had that ten years ago, and do not remember a single. Uh, drop of this. No, this is really new now. I had several um, liqueurs before and I'm, I have to say that I'm not that friend of liqueurs, uh, <laughs> but we are selling this bottle so I have to have a, uh, a look in this. Not, not a deeper look, but, but just a look at it. So 40% is a high ABV for a liqueur. The typical liqueurs have, well, the higher ones have 35. Most of the cream liqueurs have 17 to 22. Uh, so, and this one has 40% like the whiskies uh, have to have. Um, so this is a high strength liqueur. And I have a whiskey taste in it. I have this sweetness as it was on the cork and a, a cool, spicy note on top. 
yeah this uh, the receipt of this liqueur is hidden of course so to have a well an advantage uh, against others but all of those receipts are secret it depends if you like it or not yeah cheers From time to time, wahaha. From time to time, you feel an oiliness in a whiskey, and here this oiliness is extreme. Then there is a sweetness, not too strong. Astonishingly, not too strong. And then a spiciness behind, light peppery note. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Definitely sweet. And uh, in the aftertaste, there is oakiness from the whiskey. Definitely. And the spices in between, mm -hmm. cloves, heather, yeah. So it's it's really complex mixed that I'm not able to find out which those spices really are. Yeah, the peppery note vanishes very very fast. Sweetness stays behind, the heather note is strong. It's like a, how it's called, a syrup against cough. Yeah, that's it. Mm hmm, definitely. Mm hmm, yeah. Uh, on the back label it said it's uh, very good for for cocktails, drinks, so rusty nail I read on the back label. It should be uh, a drink with this, drum boy. Yeah, so I'm positively astonished about this whisk, uh, whiskey liqueur. Uh, <laughs> I thought about uh, being sweeter and uh, yeah, sweeter. And that the sweetness is not that strong and the spiciness gives the counterpart to the sweetness. That's really good. So uh, if a normal whiskey is too strong for you, means in harsh alcohol, then this one uh, might be suitable for you. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching.